ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. And let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, man. A little bit of time to talk about stuff. A lot of stuff to talk about, though. So if y'all don't, don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment the mar down below. Y'all already know for obvious reasons, and that's going to do two things for you guys. Number one, let's start at the end. Number three, the bots are down in the description, I mean, down in the comment section. Make sure y'all ignore them. I tried to block them all. You might not even see them anymore, but I still see them here and there. They're trying to tell y'all I'm on uh, Telegram, and that's my phone number, and, I'm, and that y'all want stuff. That's not the truth. If I don't tell y'all in my video that you won, then you didn't win. Make sure you ignore those. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, and I'm on the Tiki Taki. Make sure y'all follow me on TikTok, man, for, for some good content. We got a good video coming out right after this video. It'll probably be up. Uh, you know, I'm in the gym doing some real life stuff, man. That's number that's number three. Number two, if we can get 8K views, um, average 8K views per video this month, we're going to be giving away a next gen console, whether it be an Xbox, a PlayStation, or um a, or a laptop, or we're going to give away 500 bucks, man, whichever y'all decide. And last but not least, every single Friday, we give away $50 in VC cash out or we give away a copy of a video game of your choice. All you gotta do to get involved in this is to like the video and comment down below. Help yourself by liking the video and you get in these contests and you can, might you might can win something. Um, and you know, you help me out because when y'all like the video, it helps get the video on out there to other people that are interested in the same thing. And uh, you know, it just, it just helps me out. So with all that out of the way, good morning out there, 2K land, man. Hey, I just want to talk about, so we're talking about the feel-good stuff today, man. That boy, DeMar Hamlin, has been able to talk to his family and his care team, the uh, the Buffalo Bills announced. That's awesome. They said they're going to be re releasing most of the news through the Buffalo Bills uh, team or what have you. And it says DeMar's breathing tube has been removed overnight. Neurologic function remains intact. That's one of the most important things right there, man. We want you to be alive, but we also want you to be able to enjoy your life. And neurological, that, that's the whole uh, that's the whole chain, you know, from head all the way down to the toe. He can move. He, he obviously got his fine motor skills because they said he was writing and writing the message. And the first thing he said was, hey, did we win the game? Us athletes, we insane. We You got to be insane to be an athlete. We already know it because that's the first thing that I would have asked too. He had no idea. I, I think this is just speculation at this point, but I don't think he had any idea how long he had been out. He didn't know that this was from Monday to like uh, Wednesday or Thursday-ish or what have you. And so he probably was just thinking that, yo, I was out for an hour or so and, you know, or I got knocked out and then they took me to the hospital and now I'm waking up and, you know, it's just later that day. So he asked, hey, the first thing he's saying, hey, did, I, did we win the game? But, you know, that's good because that means that he didn't feel any pain. He didn't, you know, he wasn't in any, any time, like, you know, he didn't, he's not saying that, you know, I can't wiggle my right pinky toe or none of that stuff. So that's dope. I, I mean, I, you know, the fact that he had the presence of mind to be able to do that, that's great. Also, they hit, they hit us with this other piece of news and they say, um, Damar Hamlin FaceTimed into our into our meeting today to talk to the coaches and players. And the first thing, I mean, and uh, when he said, well, this is what he said to the team, love you boys. I ain't gonna lie, like I said, man, you athlete, it's a different type of thing. Bro, this is what we do. And then L finally, L Duncan said, started the week crying, ended the week crying, but for totally different reasons. Wow. And like we said, bro, we just happy that that, that young man did make it through. And uh, you know, it appears right now that there's no long-term uh, effects and stuff like that. And like I said, you know, heart, heart stuff, especially when you're a big person and when you actually play sports and stuff is really important. We may never see that happen again. They said it's so rare that, that I don't think they've ever really seen that before. And we may never see it again because you ha it's, the timing has to be so precise for that to happen and the blunt force got to be so such that it, you know, that, that, it, that it does knock you into arrhythmia or what have you like that and then you go into cardiac arrest. I suffer from arrhythmia and I have a heart murmur uh, and I got what, what they call arterial fibrillation or what have you. Same thing that J.J. Watt had when they had to shock his heart. They never had to shock my heart, but um, I've suffered from the arrhythmia some here and there, like I'll be playing basketball and, and like if I'm sitting here and it happens, yeah, I probably don't even feel it. But when my blood pressure is up or if I'm playing basketball and it goes do 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 and I miss a beat, then, you know, I know it's time for me to stop playing or stop pushing myself so hard or I just got to get off the court because once before I was doing it and I ate and like, uh, you know, it skipped the beat and then I like browned out on on the court and then I was just walking around looking confused. And then, you know, next thing I, I was fine, but you know, I was like 22, 23 then. So I didn't even think of anything of it. But the older I got, the more I got, you know, the more conscious I became. And I was like, I got to take care of my heart and stuff like that. Totally unrelated from what he's going through. But yo, just wanted to let y'all know that like, it's just one of those things like you can't take it lightly. 
it's it's as serious as they say it is and uh hopefully he makes full recovery and and is able to play because it's not anything that was congenital or anything it was just a freak accident for lack of a better word but uh before also before we get going man hey i want to tell y'all about this new shirt that we got man the different shirt this is a different definition shirt the definition the different look we got all the you know what i'm saying we got the we got all of the uh the you know the models and stuff up there like that you know like everybody be flies and doing like that but look check it out bam we got it in all colors all sizes uh sizes up to 3x 3x you do get upcharged a little bit because it, it's it's hard to find those shirts or what have you so you get a little bit of upcharge there but you can get hoodies uh slim fit hoodies you can get um a regular shirts you can get dry fit you can get all that stuff man this is the different shirt 9.99 is what it starts off with make sure y'all holler at that man if you're interested uh link down in the description it is uh breeze tees man so now to inject some levity into all of this man because that is good news in and of itself i don't know if y'all saw this on the internet webs man but look at this right here that boy kicked that thing jesus christ hey look he kicked that thing a long way boy that thing 110 yards probably 113 but he kicked that thing in zone to end zone man hey i ain't gonna lie to you that is tough that's tough also do not be this guy right here bro if you can't live 225 or whatever that is on the on that thing i am going to uh add it up while we doing this and uh because you know i i mean i think that i want to say that's 235 man because what's that what's that 45 times five that's 225 plus those look like two fives or two tens so that's 245 man almost 250 if you can't live 250 bro please don't be this guy in the gym have that big dude in the back spot you or just don't try to lift it alone because come on bro come on bro nobody wants to be that guy right there also uh now getting into 2k into the 2k stuff that boy ronald 2k put this out there we just got to speaking of jokes uh he says Get your my player endorsed by Gatorade in NBA 2K23 and receive 10% off your next purchase on Gatorade.com, valid through March 1st uh, while supplies last. Listen, Ronald, I understand that y'all got to deal with Gatorade and y'all really are trying to, uh, you know, boost that and, and get that pushed up. But, bro, we don't care. We do not care. We want that Gatorade in game to be cheaper, my boy. That's what we want. I know what y'all saying. Too some of that Gatorade in real life. You know what I'm gonna tell y'all? Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Bro, we don't care about that. We want the Gatorade on the video game to be better and cheaper and not so not so play to win. No, I sound like an old head. We want the Gatorade on the video. Back in my day, you didn't even need no Gatorade. You could just get on the game, play 2K, and you didn't even have to buy the juice or none of that. I know what y'all thinking, but yo, it is what it is, man. I hate that that is the case and that they, that, that, they have changed the game and procedurally done these things, man. But yo, it's really to prevent the things like this right here. This is what it's to prevent, bro. They're trying to prevent all of this right here. All this dribbling. Y'all remember, I know everybody was doing this back in the day, man. I know watching, watching street ball and all of that, trying to trying to dribble and be like they in the house trying to practice all the moves with the do-rag on, playing basketball. And the day, you know what I'm talking about? Everybody tried that through the Nike shirt, the rollover and all that. The hot sauce, he'll take you faster in slow motion. I know that was everybody, man, but yo, one thing that we don't have to worry worry about, bro, is this right here. And now uh, this is something that I wanted to talk about. This is the main thing that we're talking about today. Is safe to say that adrenaline boost, boost, which will, which will, in, in finger quotes, which will improve the skill gap in NBA 2K23, are now 100% irrelevant. And uh, that's what we're here to talk about today, bro. I feel like he's right. I'm, I'm not going to cap to you. Like, nobody responded to it, but that's what NBA 2KW said, bro. I think they are 100% irrelevant. I think that at the beginning of the year, we was like, defense is a little bit OP. And uh, we, it really wasn't defense because you could never really get a bump on anybody or anything like that if they really knew what they're doing. I'm not talking about if you play the game and you just go out there to have fun and you like people be getting bumpy on me and I see other people playing defense, bro. Look, we're not talking about that. We're talking about people that are actually good at the game and they can actually play the game. Bro, the best locks in the game, bro, can't get a bump on people, all right? So if you're saying that you see these guys that's getting all these bumps and getting all these stops, 
They need to be in the 2K League, bro. That's all I'm telling you. But they're not because they're not playing against anybody that's actually any good at the game. If somebody is even decent at the game, just like how we played against Sid, you're going to get killed. And like we said, people talked so much about adrenaline in the beginning and how so much this and that and the other and the third. But, bro, they are 100% irrelevant right now. If you know how to play the game, you know how to. Oh, look at that nasty step back on them, boy. If you know how to play this game, now you know what you're doing. You know how to hoop. You don't even think about adrenaline. I asked T about that today. He said, bro, I haven't thought about adrenaline in so long that it's, that it's not even a big issue. You don't lose it off ball anymore. And then when you do dribble, if you're a point guard, if you can't beat that guy in your first three moves, because uh, matter of fact, most people use moves that don't even use adrenaline or what have you like that. Man, with the new badgy pluggy uh, uh, glitch, shoot, you, you don't even have to use adrenaline and you can move way faster. So, but... A lot of people don't even care about it anymore, especially the good guys, the good players, because they know that one thing can happen. If you beat me and you make me use all the adrenaline, I can still just go by you, push through you, and go quick, drop that thing quickly on the rim. That's number one. Number two, I can step back and still shoot the J. Adrenaline does not impact your ability to shoot, uh, impact or impair your ability to shoot the shot. So that doesn't matter. And then number three, I can pass the ball, wait three seconds, and then I can get it right bike and still go by you and drop that thing quickly on the rim. <laughs> on the real man y'all already know what's gonna happen so i think that nobody really cares about adrenaline anymore it was a big to do in the beginning because it's something that we had to adjust to but it's like like we said with the 2k community bro we're going to find the cheese in the game and we're going to find the things that make us be able to be better than other people by the margins like you know certain dunks you got uh layups or what have you like that like look at this layup i can green a 30 percent layup and i got a 60 layup because i got pro touch on bronze i don't even got it on silver i used to have it on silver i was hitting everything you can put on pro touch and acrobat and you can go there and you can you can you can a spectacular move by jordan like i did on tiktok the other day you can do all of that stuff bro and you can do it all because the game is how the game is like i said you don't even have to worry about a whole lot of stuff in this game no more hey it was in the beginning <laughs> trades up splash down now we everybody shooting 60 plus percent everybody <laughs> And now, look, you know, nobody worried about adrenaline no more. No more. In the beginning. It's not enough dribble moves. I can't left right my way to freedom. Look, bro. Look where we at now. One more time. Trey ball. Yop. Like, nobody's really worried about anything in the game anymore, especially offensively. We just want to. Uh, and I'm taking pictures on here because I'm trying to get. There was a new jump shot. And I'm going to do a ticky tacky on that new jump shot that I was using this game in there. So that's why I'm doing that. But. Like I said, we just don't worry about a lot of the things that they said that we were going to worry about. And, uh, you know, I'm talking about you getting you getting broken right there. It is what it is. But y'all let me know if y'all are still worried about adrenaline or was that stuff like a big, big to do? Or was it just the fact that people just hate to try to, uh, they hate adjusting to things. And when you got to adjust to something instead of adjusting to it, uh, you know, instead of adjusting to it, what most people like to do, they like to complain about it and hope they're going to change it back. When in actuality, I can't get a steal to save my life on this game. 99 steal, Hall of Fame interceptor. I can't get a steal when you clearly saw that I was timing that right. And also, when I do poke the ball free, I can't get it. It is what it is. The game is overwhelmingly slanted in, in favor of the offense, and I think it needs to be that way because most of the community has zero IQ, and they have no idea what to do when the game is even, even requires a semblance of some thought and i really thought they were gonna let me lay that up there but the game was over but you know it is what it is man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section though and before we get out of here man we got a couple of clips that i want y'all to look at man check this out bro this drill right here is has created the most basketball players of anything on this planet the oklahoma drill bro get down in stance and go between these two you got nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. You can't outrun him to the corner. And then the thing is, he tried to make the tackle. Bro, bro, your 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 technique is all wrong on this, my boy. I ain't even gonna. Bro, look, look, bro, I'm not even gonna cap to you. Look, right, like, it, it's, I'm, I, I can't, I, I wanna cap to you, but I can't. Look, bro, right here, you're just, you are too high. This dude is, is look how low he is right here, bro. He's already low. You're too high. You can't hit him and, and effectively tackle him at that point in time. So it just is what it is. Uh, your demise at this point is inevitable. 
go and get your gym shorts and proceed to the next gym, learn how to run three miles and go and get ready for that basketball, my G. Because yeah, that's what it is. And, and you know what the big thing is? The big thing is it ain't even the fact that he got ran over, but it's the fact that everybody was telling him, hey, pick your helmet up, do this, do that. Like that's what that it's the embarrassment that gets you. And speaking of embarrassment, it's bad when you when your mama calls in a favor. Hey man, I got this, I got this message on uh on the Twitter, up on the Twitter the other day, and uh it was uh from old lady gaming. She said, listen here, man. That Jay, please. Please put my son on your YouTube channel. He got dunked on bad, capital B-A-D, and make it funny. Well, I can oblige you on that, man. Check it out. Not only are we going to make it funny, we're going to break this play down. So let's just go through the play. We're going to go through the play right quick, and then we're going to see what happened, man. Look, he goes down low. He tries to get the rebound. He didn't box out, which, you know, that's the, that's the way we go. Ah, get dunked on. Jesus Christ! <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Okay, we're gonna back it up right here. Now, his first mistake was, look, right here. Right here, he's got his head on the swivel. He's looking at the basketball, but what he's not looking at is this guy coming straight down Broadway. Now, what he should be doing right here is going across and boxing out at this area, and then you can jump and get the rebound. But so many of us in the 2K community don't box out. And what happens right here? You see him come, you see this fella right here come straight down Broadway. You still got a chance to box out. He could have, I mean, he could have came right here, slid right, he could have come right here. I don't know who, who calling me. I don't know who calling me, but we ain't got time for that right now. Hey, look, he could have come right here. You still in good position, seal him off and get that board, my G. But nope, that's not what happens right here. He decided to jump and go straight for the, for the rebound and look what ends up happening at this point in the game you see him coming down and at this point he knows that he's made a mistake right now we're going to turn up the audio on the video and as he gets ready to punch this basketball and throw it straight to hell we're going to listen in on what he's saying right there get money is saying no and wallet heads is saying i'm too high he don't want to do it. He don't even, like, bro, he don't even want to do none of that. But what happened? Boo, right on him. Now, now, at this point in time, you see the people on the side, you see these people on the sideline, these people on the sideline, they begin to sing, man. They singing. And the song that they're singing is, y'all sing it with me. Get up, mother f Woo, mother get up. That's what they singing on the sideline, chat. I don't know what, I don't know what you're thinking about here, but this, is a this is a, a a good thing of what not to do always box out don't ever just go for that board bro because you're gonna end up on the ground like that like like my boy like my boy get money man we don't want, want that right there man we want good fundamental basketball make sure you box out every single time just box him out right here and you don't get this thing put on your head but as such what ends up happening is he already got the clown outfit on so look bring in the clowns he took that basketball put it on his head like a hat you know what i'm talking about he got the hat on but then he put that strap on made him wear it he can't even take that hat off right there but put that thing on his or what the kid's saying put it on his young head anyway man i ain't got i ain't got time for y'all man hopefully y'all enjoyed the video man make sure y'all like this joint uh comment tomorrow down below and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time <laughs> It's your boy, Dave, the a.k.a. Press from the bar. John P.K. the people's channel.